This is a somewhat accurate representation of the Battle of Gettysburg as told by photos saved from Google Images. The year was 1861, and slavery was practiced in many southern states of the U.S. What's slavery, you ask? Well, back then, people were taken from Africa, sold as property, and forced to perform hard labor for their owners. It was a terrible practice that had been going on in the southern part of the United States for hundreds of years. Abraham Lincoln was just sworn in as president, and he ran on a campaign of getting rid of slavery in the U.S., this angered many southern states. So seven of those states created their own country called the Confederate States of America and declared war against the North. The southern states called the Confederacy and the northern states called the Union fought for years. The Confederacy, led by General Robert E. Lee, was invading the North and hoped to get to Harrisburg, the capital of Pennsylvania. President Lincoln sent the Union Army to stop him and the two forces collided in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. On July 1st, 1863, the Battle of Gettysburg began. For three days, Union and Confederate forces battled. Nearly 100,000 soldiers lost their lives in the costliest battle ever fought on American soil. On the third day, in an event known as Pickett's Charge, the Union Army won the Battle of Gettysburg and Robert E. Lee was forced to retreat to Virginia. Months after the battle was over, President Abraham Lincoln delivered one of the most important speeches in American history called the Gettysburg Address. At that moment, everything in the Civil War had changed. In 1865, the Confederacy surrendered, slavery was abolished, and four million black people were given their freedom. Nowadays, Gettysburg is not only a popular tourist attraction, it's actually the home of over 7,000 people, several colleges, and tons of furniture companies. However, Gettysburg will always be remembered for being a turning point in the Civil War. And that brings us to our adventure today. All right, we made it to Gettysburg. So it's been a long, long, long time since I've been here. Let me think, I'm in my mid-20s, so I'd say about 15 years. So we're gonna hit the visitor center first and take it from there. Look, Hello. Hello. Ooh. Daddy, yeah, bud. It is, I already recorded a little bit. I have money. Well, Nikki, it looks like you put a dollar in the state from which you live. Which there's our state. Alright, if you want to put a dollar in there, that's fine. That's Tennessee, but Texas is to the right of it. If you really want to represent the Lone Star State, you may need to fold it in half. Put some money in. Oh, we got an Oregon girl. Are you going to put your money? That is a Confederate soldier's uniform. That's the South. They wore gray. And that's the Union. That's the North, they wore blue. That's how they told each other apart. Oh my goodness. More, more, more. This is Culp's Hill. Or what Culp's Hill looked like where a lot of the action happened. All right, this is the, I like your song. This is the uh, overhead view of Gettysburg. This is what Gettysburg looks like from the sky. If it was made of plastic. We are going to do the self-guided auto tour uh, so we can see all the wonderful historic things that Gettysburg has to offer. Civil War Hospital. See if we could see it better. This is McPherson Ridge. 
uh, at around 8 o'clock on the first day of the war. This is where it started after that car right by that barn over there. Uh, oh my goodness, Kelsey. <laughs> This is uh, Oak Ridge. This is where the end of the first day took place. So let's go up there and check it out. Wow, you did a cartwheel. And also this. Uh-huh. How appropriate. <laughs> Guys, that's North Carolina Monument. That's where everything started on the second day. All right. This is Warfield Ridge. This is where a lot of the fighting took place on the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg. Remember, it took three days. And this happened in the afternoon of the second day. Look at that view. But right around here is called Little Round Top. And this is where the North got a lot of much needed help. Right in this area. All right, guys, that is the Pennsylvania Memorial right up there after the wonderful commonwealth in which we live. Great idea. This is East Cemetery Hill. This is where all the action happened or started on day three. Look at that obelisk. This is, guys, really quick. This is the high water mark. This is where the Union, the North, started really winning and the Confederates started leaving. They started to quit. America! All right, all right, all right, all right. This is uh, Soldiers National Cemetery, guys. This is where Abraham Lincoln did his uh, Gettysburg Address. Well, we're done our two hour auto tour. In hindsight, maybe bringing four kids to that wasn't the best idea, but we're stopping here at the Children of Gettysburg, which is a museum. Oh! A museum that kind of looks at Gettysburg through the eyes of a child. Where do they go, baby? Yeah, put them. Put them there. Okay. I actually did that. Do you remember what that's called? Do you remember what she called it? Yeah. What? Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's, la Jacob's Ladder. Wow. Not bad. That's how people used to get water. They would have to pump it from a well. You're a spitting image of Honest Abe yourself. Himself. Yep, that's what he sounded like too. Oh! What color was the Union in the North? Very good. Yeah. Hmm. 
that the north or the south? The old guys. All right, children. Well, that's it for Gettysburg. Uh, we did a few things today. We did the visitor center. We did the self-guided automobile tour and the children's museum. Uh, what was your favorite part? Um, the museum. The museum. What about you, little girl? Nothing. Nothing. And what about you? Nothing. Nothing. We got two nothings and a museum. All right. Well, that's it for. Oh, I forgot, Hans, your hand that is uh, a sentient being has no has opinions too. Well, that's it. Bye.